For more on this, let's bring in CTV Montreal Bureau Chief Geneviève Beauchemin. Thanks for being here, Jen. I wanted to ask you, what are the police alleging here? Well, Mike, the RCMP said today, and I quote what he said, he said, there's no other way to say this. He said, this man wanted to do an armed revolution in Haiti, overthrow the president, Jovenel Moïse, and also seize power for himself, he says. So really, uh, strong allegations here. And what they're saying happened is that uh, Gérald Nicolas, 51-year-old man from Lévis, just outside of Quebec City there, that he would have traveled to several countries, Haiti uh, and Central America, South America, and that he would have been raising funds and also looking for arms in order to carry out this overthrow, this revolution, and that he was operating, he was back and forth between his home here in Lévis. Now, those are strong allegations. He's facing three charges. Those charges include leaving Canada to facilitate terrorist activity, facilitating terrorist activity, providing property for terrorist purposes. And, you know, he could be convicted to, four, to, to could face 14 years in jail if indeed he is convicted. But we did speak to his lawyer who says that um, he intends to plead not guilty. And he completely, completely says that these allegations are not true. Geneviève, police say that their investigation began in July of last year. That was the same month that President Jovenel Moïse was assassinated. But police are saying the charges are unrelated to his death. Can you explain that? They are. What they're saying, indeed, is that there was a lot of political unrest at the time. Of course, we know this in Haiti. At that particular moment, there were different factions and still are, of course, today, um, wrestling for control of the country. And indeed, when they started their investigation, there was that political context, and it was right around that time. And it has been a long investigation. They say that they conducted a search of Monsieur Nicolas' home near Quebec City back in November 2021, but that they had to continue their investigation throughout that year to figure out exactly uh, what was happening. They say it's more complex when you're dealing with these kinds of international investigations. And at the end of that, they have now laid those charges. But they say that what their investigation has not shown any link with the actual assassination of Jovenel Moïse, that though there was this plot that was being carried out, it was not connected to the assassination that occurred on that July day. CTV Montreal's Bureau Chief Geneviève Beauchemin, thanks so much for this, Jen.